Hi, and welcome back to the North Lodge Cottage Garden, where as you can hear, rain really has stopped play here on the outskirts of the New Forest. What I wanted to do on such a really dark and quite horrible autumn day is ask you to cast your mind back to something that I brought you during National Rose Month 2022 and one of my best of collections. Now, I don't know if you can remember, but I filmed several best of David Austin collections, bringing together some really beautiful roses from the David Austin Rose Collection. Best for fragrance, best for repeat flowering, best for performing in drought and very hot, dry conditions, and also one of my favorites, best for pollinators and best for bringing into the garden for producing hips. And if many of you have never seen rose hips on some of your David Austin roses, because you've really over deadheaded them towards the back end of the season, this is what all the fuss is about. Now, a lot of you will look at my, that, my handful of joy now that brings a huge smile to my face and adds a lot of interest to the garden as we move into the latter parts and of autumn into those bleak months surrounding Christmas. Uh, a lot of you will go, oh, it's not worth all the effort. It's not worth making all the fuss about. But rose hips for me are a beautiful natural resource which look really, really splendid in the garden and have lots and lots of uses, not only in the home and about the garden, but also benefit the wildlife in your garden as well. The Rose Collection Best for Hips is available to watch on Instagram or on my YouTube channel. I'll be reposting it over the next couple of days on both, so if you've missed out on it. But the collection of Rose Hips that I've got here are from uh, Sceptred Isle. Uh, let's find those for you. That is that one there. Uh, a rose from David Austin, which appears on several of my Best of collections. These beautiful, very strange shaped beautiful orange hips are from Sceptred Isle. The big, great big ones here, this huge spray, one of the best for producing hips in the garden and one of my, an all time favorite rose of mine. This one is the Lark Ascending. The other one that I've got here, which is, hasn't quite ripened up yet. This one is off a beautiful semi double rose called Buttercup, uh, a short climber, which I grow against a fence, but is absolutely perfect for producing hips huge sprays of these. I'm not sure if these will ripen or not, but this one is buttercup. But even if you're container gardening and you're growing things like uh, rolled dull, these ones are not particularly great. The season's been particularly wet, but there's still plenty of blooms to come on rolled dull here in the garden, which hopefully will produce hips. But these are a collection of rose hips from the North Lodge Cottage Garden, very early on in the season for these at the moment. But you can see really, really very beautiful for bringing into the house in a vase, very, very simply, or if you're particularly crafty and you like to produce seasonal uh, foliage wreaths for your front door or for your table, a really lovely way of bringing natural products into those uh, as you do them and craft them for the festive season moving forward. And also the benefits of having these out in the garden for the wildlife are really, really very important. Things like field mice and voles will actually eat these, along with all of the small tits. Tits absolutely love these. Yes, I said tits absolutely love these, but tits do absolutely love these. Uh, the bullfinches, uh, the blue tits, chaffinches, and my huge family, I know you've probably heard me talk about them before. I've got pods of wrens living on different sides of the cottage. We have some live on the west side of the cottage, which is over um, by the front door, and we have some on the east side of the cottage where the bedroom windows are, and they sort of have two large family groups, one on each side of the house, uh, and they very much stick to their different parts of the garden, but the wrens absolutely I love these towards the very very end of December they'll start to almost rot and decompose and that's when the birds will really get interested in them and uh, start pulling them apart so if you haven't watched my best of for hips collection bringing together the best roses from David Austin that will produce bountiful beautiful colorful hips in the garden like these do watch it now but I will be posting it again over the next couple of days uh, if you like a really tidy garden this is probably not for you but for those of us that want to add an Awful lot of interest and have the garden working as hard as we can through those winter months do take a list of that roses and just have a look at adding another uh, level of interest in your garden through the very dark very wet and often very bleak winter months especially as we move into December and January